everyone in this video i want to talk about how easy it is these days to quickly spin up a modern landing page with some of the tools that we have at our disposal so i will use webflow's new ai builder actually and you'll see how easy it is to quickly generate a pretty good looking design it's not perfect yet we still have to tweak some things but overall it's a really quick way to get some scaffolding essentially now one of the most important things on our website is going to be a form because a form is how we collect user information it's how we get in contact with our customers or potential customers we get leads so we want to make sure that our form setup is done properly as well i'm going to use basin in this video they are today's sponsor so basin provides a complete back-end platform for our forms it saves us a lot of time and energy in setting up a bunch of things ourselves to make forms work properly and to do things like automatically responding to incoming submissions uh, notifying us over email or maybe even slack that we received a submission filtering out spam there's a bunch of things that are important for forms and that's what i'm going to use basin for I actually had a great time using them also i have a video with them on how to implement them in a react app as well including next.js so we can use basin not only in webflow but also in other tech stacks all right so let me quickly show you how i would go about building that so i'm in webflow here and i'm just going to create a new site i'm going to use their ai site builder and let's quickly go through the steps here so let's say i have a software consultancy business i'm going to say this is my software consultancy okay and i can describe my business here so i run a software consultancy business i help people and businesses with new tech projects i want them to be able to reach out to me okay so just a quick description and then we can pick a style so we can flip through here but they also just have an ai option so i will actually just go with ai all the way in the age of ai so why not let's generate here and let's see what we get so it's going to take a couple seconds and generate the page for us all right so it looks like uh, it's finishing up here let's see what we get all right so here it has given me a landing page here i can change the styling here let's say i like this so just crawling through here i think all of this looks great so yeah i think with ai it, it's it allows us to quickly scaffold up a decent looking starting point and at this point i would uh, click on start building and fine tune some things to get exactly what I want. Now what I want is a form on the page. So I'm going to use Basin for that. I will actually log in here. All right. So then here in the Basin dashboard, I can create forms. And as you can see, I've already created some before. We can also set it up right here from Webflow actually. So we don't have to do a bunch of setup in Basin first. We can just stay inside our Webflow workflow. So to make it work, we can install Basin as an app here. You can see in the app marketplace, we can uh, find Basin Forms and just install that. All right, so then we do need to grant Basin uh, access to our Webflow account. Okay, so I will go back to uh, Webflow. All right, so I'm back here and you can see we, we have that one page, which I still have open here. So now what I can do here is maybe in some contact section or maybe even a different page, I want to add a form, let's say. All right, so I could add a form and let's say that people should be able to send me a message. Let's quickly add some padding on the top there so people should be able to send me a message and i need to know their emails so i can respond to them and um, this is the labels let me also change the field here the field should be a message all right so now i have one form on the page and when this gets submitted it should be submitted to my basin backend so here i can now use the basin app it will automatically detect the form here on the page because i only have one form here on the page i don't need to select it or anything now from here i can create a form right here or i can create one in the dashboard but let's actually do it here all right so now i created a form here and they call it simply home because it's the home page now when somebody submits a form do we want to redirect them to another page or do we just want to show a success message and stay on the same page i think staying on the same page is a better user experience so i will leave it like that we can add captcha here as well they support recaptcha age captcha and turn style we can also track where the form was submitted from right so which page for example and then we're actually going to connect that form to basin all right so now it's properly connected now if i go to basin and scroll down a little bit where i have all my forms here i have that home form that was created for me this if i click on this i can configure the settings for this form so here in the overview for this form we are using webflow basin will automatically make it work here in webflow but let's say you have not only this uh, landing page here, maybe you also have a web app and you wanna have the same form in the web app as well. So the submissions in the web app should also go here basically. You can use this form endpoint, right? So you can 
send the data to this form endpoint and it will all be collected here in one centralized view. I have a separate video with Basin on how to implement them in React and Next.js. So we can use the form in multiple different places, multiple websites or apps, and all the data will be centralized here. All right, so right now if I go to submissions, you can see there are no submissions yet. So let's actually try this out. So here on Webflow, now I do need to publish it to actually submit a form. So let me just uh, submit, uh, publish this. Okay, so now I will go to our beautiful landing page. All right, so now I have my landing page here. And if I scroll down, here we have a form. Now let's actually try submitting a uh, hi. I'm looking for some help with a new software project. Let's say this is Jonathan. Jonathan is gonna submit the form and we get a success message here. We're not being redirected. Now, if I go to submissions here in my form, I refresh. You can see I have a submission here from Jonathan. If I click on that, you can see all the data from that submission. So the actual message, I probably should have lowercase that, but we do see all the data here, right? Including where it's coming from. And by default, Basin will actually notify me over email as well. So here I can see, hello there, you just received a new submission with all the data here, right? So Basin looks at the name that was given to each input field to distinguish between the data. So you can see that's why it's called message. And here it's called email. We can get a decent setup within a minute or two. Now let's take a look at some of the other options we have with Basin here. We have the analytics here, so you'll get a nice overview here of how many and when they were submitted. We have the inbox here. Basin will automatically try to filter out spam. We can export to CSV, okay? For the form builder, so in case you do want to build your form, for example, in a separate website as well or in a web app, you can build out the form UI here yourself, including with AI. Now here for the emails, we can specify how we want to be notified. So by default, there is a base and template that's being used. I can send the email to other emails as well. So if you have other people on your team that should be notified, we can add that here as well, right? So here we can add other emails and we can specify some other things like the subject, etc., including if there should be attachments. So if you have files that should be sent along, we can do that as well. One big benefit as well is that we can automatically respond as well. So here, I have my software consultancy. Now let's say I'm going on vacation for two weeks. I can set it up so that if somebody submits a message, I respond back to them. Hey, I'm on vacation for the next two weeks. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So I can very easily set that up here as well. Very nice. Including the reply to email, always a bit of a hassle. I really dislike it when other companies have some email that you can't reply to. I think that makes no sense, but uh, here I can very easily set that up. Okay, so we have a bunch of other settings here, but Importantly, I think we have integrations here as well. So if you do want to be notified, not, not over email, but over Slack, let's say you want to receive a Slack message, that is something you can set up here as well, including with some of these other integrations that Basin offers. All right, so then here in the general settings, we have some other ones, including how long the data should be retained. And one of my favorite features about Basin is that they allow us to rank the incoming submissions with AI actually. So they're using the GPT-40 model as of recording. So basically this is useful because if you have a public form, from my personal experience, you're going to get a bunch of submissions. Some of them are not going to be useful. So I would like to rank them lower than the ones that are useful. Especially if you have a high traffic website, you're receiving a lot of incoming submissions or leads. It's very nice that you can uh, rank them by how desirable they are. So for example, for a software consultancy website, I mostly am interested in receiving, uh, let me actually refresh here, I'm mostly interested in people that want my services. So people that do have a project on their mind and they need some help, right? I'm not interested in people looking for a job, let's say, right? So those are two different submissions you're going to get. So for my software consultancy, I mostly am interested in people looking to get maybe even a quote or just basically uh, an inquiry, meaning they're looking for a service that I can offer. So what data should a high quality submission have? Um, you can even pick business email, so they should have a domain in their email basically. Right? So Basin needs to know when a submission is considered high quality by us. It doesn't matter to me what their email is, but um, I will say consultancy, so software consultancy. And then here in the next step, I can specify when it should be high quality. So submissions that inquiry about my not job seeker. I can even say not job. Okay. So I'm going to set up the lead agent right here. Okay. So now I have it set up. So now if I go to uh, submissions, you can see we have an additional score column here. Let's actually try submitting this again. So let's actually try submitting something like, hi, I need some help with my software project. Can you tell me more about your services? Ben at gmail.com. Okay. Submit. 
Now if I refresh, you can see I have a new submission here and it has a really high score, right? Because this is exactly the type of message I want. Hi, now I'm, let's try another one. Hi, I'm looking for a job. Do you have something for me? This is coming from Adam at gmail.com. Okay, so now if I refresh here. All right, so now if I refresh here, you can see I have another submission here from Adam but it has a very low score because obviously this is not what we want. A very nice way to quickly rank the submissions. Very helpful if you are getting a bunch of submissions or you've been away for some time and there's been a bunch of submissions and you quickly want to see the ones that have the highest priority of your attention. So great form builder. I had a great time using them, including in React, so not only in Webflow. So I would say check out Basin. You can find a link in the description. But yeah, overall, I have to say it's much easier these days to get everything wired up properly, get a decent looking page with a solid form set up. So really interesting time. And I wanna thank you for watching. I wanna thank Basin for sponsoring the video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.